Kia ora, internet. This is exciting. I've been invited to create a mini quilt for an art exhibition. A little bit scary, but also exciting. <laughs> the exhibition is being put on by Qtopia, which is a charity that supports LGBTQIA plus people here in Canterbury. So I've been thinking about what I want to make, and I've got the glimmerings of an idea. I think I want to make something that reflects on some of the losses that we've had in the rainbow community here, but also on the way that the community coming together to support each other following those losses is something that's really beautiful. So let's see if I can turn that vague idea into an actual project. rainbow background but I'm not going to use my usual bright colours. This is a quilt that's about loss at its centre so I'm going to try for a more muted rainbow and one that has a bit of a sunset vibe to it. I also want there to be a flower made up of 3D petals. So I've drawn this template shape and I'm going to sew two layers of fabric together then turn them inside out to create the petals. curved piecing for the rainbow background which will give it a bit of a landscape effect similar to the one I did for the Matariki quilt. of the petals slightly and stitch them to give them a slight 3D curve so they'll stand out from the background. I'm going to quilt the background first before I add the petals. I want the quilting to draw your eye to where the flower is going to be. So I'm going to quilt outwards in a tightly wound spiral which I think should give the illusion of concentric circles focused on that point. my mind I don't really want the flower to be in the middle of those circles I think I just want a single petal to be up there sort of like it's fallen from the flower and been caught by the wind oh yeah that's going to be much more effective I like that I'm sewing on the petals of the main flower in two layers to give it a bit more dimensionality and I'm attaching each with just a short line of stitching along the center line so they'll be able to stand up from the background I've got two options here for fabric. I could fuzzy cut a gold dot from this one or one of the spirals from this fabric. Yeah, I'm not sure I like that one. Oh, that one's much better. That's looking 
looking great. It's hard to tell on camera, but the petals are all floppy. And the centre is just slightly raised. It's worked just how I wanted it to. I've got just enough of that fabric left to make a flange binding with a thin strip of solid black on the inside to frame the quilt. get it over to the gallery today so um, it's miserable weather out there but I'll shortly hop on a bus into town and take it to the gallery. I'm really pleased how it turned out. I, I think I've achieved my artistic vision which is good. Don't forget to do all those nice internet-y things like liking and subscribing and leave a comment and I will see you next time. Ka kite anō internet. <laughs>